Hey everybody, it's Cheryl. Welcome back to Technique of the Week. It's week number 50. Woohoo! And this week we're going to be talking about ink tense pencils. These are uh, the ink tense pencils that I'm talking about. They're made by Derwent. And these are different from your regular colored pencils in that they actually have ink uh, in the pigment of the color of the uh, colored pencil. And so here's what the set looks like. I've got one of these flipped upside down, but you get the idea. Um, and they come in a bunch of different colors. And what you're gonna do is really get yourself a piece of uh, prepared for dyeing fabric. So PFD fabric, prepared for dyeing. And you're going to use your colored pencils. You're gonna get those out and you're going to uh, either find a drawing and you know trace that onto your fabric or you can work with a piece of uh, Xeroxed design underneath the fabric. You can see the design through it, so you can do it that way. And you're just going to start coloring right onto the surface of your fabric. Now, uh, the technique actually comes in sort of blending the ink tents uh, colors so that they become a little bit like a watercolor. And what I use for that is golden. Uh, medium, fabric painting medium, GAC 900. You may have seen me use this on many other videos uh, because this stuff is super versatile. And what happens with this fabric painting medium is it actually takes the ink inside that colored pencil mark that you made on your fabric and spreads it out. And uh, it does actually work a little bit like a watercolor. So I will show you the quilt that I made. Okay, so there's the quilt. And all of these sections here, you know, I just, you can actually see some of the colored lines and that would be where, you know, the, um, the fabric medium has sort of spread it out. And so you don't need to lay down a lot of color and you don't need to color very, like very hard onto your fabric. Um, it will actually work uh, either the more you use you get these brighter colors. The less you use, you get more of a pastel sort of look, which is kind of neat also. So anyway, give this one a try. Super easy to do. You can get the ink tense pencils at any art supply store. So give this one a shot and uh, start coloring onto your fabric. So be sure to give this one a try and uh, you can follow along on my blog at www.muppin.com. You can also subscribe to this channel and get a copy of these videos in your newsfeed every single week. And you can also go to my website and sign up for my newsletter and in return you'll get the 52 Technique of the Week checklist so you can follow along with these videos right along with us. Thanks, have a great day, and I will see you again next week.